welcome to Almost Maine production meeting number two. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's start off with uh, any new updates with from you, Mia. You're muted. Muted. <laughs> Will you mute everybody? <laughs> All right, typical Zoom meeting. We can go on Facebook for everyone to mock. Um, <clears throat> read through the script again. Um, had a lovely conversation with Adrian about costuming and process and um, talking about the really focusing in on the, the process and giving it really time to kind of dream and find our way there. But I'm really, uh, late last night, probably like two o'clock in the morning, I was going through Jamie's um, almost main Pinterest board, which I really enjoyed and I like hearted a whole bunch of things. I saw you had done some, which yeah. Is exciting, um, uh, about where conversations are gonna go and that's about where I am, so. Yeah, so I sent you all invites to the Pinterest thing, so you should be able to look at it. Do you want, I don't know if it makes sense to like share the screen with everybody or if we, if I should just talk about things if you guys have it all up on your own. Can we um, do both? Can you bring it up so that the the references are captured in the notes and then I pulled it up in my- Okay, sure, however you want to do this fine with me. Cool, so yeah, I have um, pinned a bunch of stuff. I tried to sort of organize it on the Pinterest board so things were kind of grouped together, but that's a little difficult to do on Pinterest because things all like shift around anytime you move anything. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I did what I could so that things kind of made sense. Um, some of you have probably, I mean, it sounds like you've already looked at stuff. I don't know if anybody else has, but um, yeah, I guess like usual, um, I'll pull it up here and then you can sort of tell me which things stand out to you. I know you hearted some already. I did. But maybe the reasons I hearted them and the reasons you put them there are different reasons. So it's true, yeah. So I want to talk about the same page. All right. Some of the things I have pinned because of a bunch of different stuff that you talked about last time, obviously. Um, I have notes, so pardon me if I'm not looking directly at you. Sure. Um, some of the stuff is about that empty space, that big sky, like in the description. Some of it is about um, the bleakness that the description talks about. Some of it is about the um, stark, raw, harsh beauty I had written down. Yeah. Um, and some of it is about idyllic version of that. Let, let's start with the sky. Okay. Um, down near the bottom. The end, there is that one with the little tiny guy and the huge. Is it this um, uh, there's, no, there's no. several because that's one of the things I was picking at. So there's this right. one. Right. It's, it's the actual it's that one. photo with the stars. This one? Yes. Yeah, that one and yeah. this one is like, I have a bunch of them are kind of pinned for that open sky right. and the star stuff. Yes. Um, so yeah. that image of the man on the, um, on the lake yes. really strikes me as something that really speaks to the, that, that isolation and the yes. specialness of the, the, the truth and the beauty, but also the harshness. Yeah, that's kind of, that is definitely why I pinned it. I liked all of those things. I actually, I even really liked the lakeness. You probably notice there's a lot of lake thing, yes. lake images. Love the lake stuff. And I think one of the reasons, and I had written this down even before we talked last time, but it didn't come up, but I, like sort of the, the, con the concept of thin ice Yep. and um, being sort of dangerous and exposed mm -hmm. and like the potential for disaster, but also like so the thing that I saw in the in the lake metaphors that I hadn't seen before uh -huh. also ties in to the the 2D kind of thing where the idea of the the cut of a skate or of um, walking or whatever that that creates that linear pattern in a way that I hadn't thought about before. Oh, about lines? Yes, about about the or like in this one. In that one where you see the the scratches in the ice and, and the this, these cracks yep, in this one absolutely. too. Absolutely. Um, and then that tie to the topographical stuff that's happening with some like of one? the, yep, those mm -hmm. images there. And then the kind of as above beneath idea where it's mirroring, which I think is really, really interesting, especially thinking about the show that we've got this beautiful people beginning their connections and people ending. And then there's also a stark kind of beauty with both of those things. And that, that yeah. was something that really struck me in going yeah, I like that. I mean, and the in the aurora borealis too, the the linearity and the path 
and maybe it's because I'm reading um, the Starless Sea right uh -huh. now, uh, and the whole idea of um, there are paths to choose and which do you choose and whatever and going with your gut feels very much a theme with that, but it also feels very much like it's a theme that's resonant within this particular play in a much more, I don't want to say sentimental, in, in a much more tender way yes. than mm -hmm. Um, much less stylized way than in that novel, but but right. it was something that I really liked a lot. That I liked the. I don't know how, why or how I got stuck on this. I guess I got stuck on it a little bit because of the lake and the idea of the cracks. But then yep. it felt uh, I I got really into um, the holes. Yes, like I like the, the idea holes. of like an empty space that needs filling or that will slowly that you could kind of see it as like a thing that's dangerous or empty, but also a, a, a place of possibility. Um, yes, love that. So like um, this one in particular, where it's, mm -hmm. it's, is it melting or is it freezing? Like there's that idea too, mm -hmm. like. <clears throat> and that idea of things coming over and into, mm -hmm. and the, the thing that I like about this image and the other um, cardstock um, topographical mm -hmm. ones are that sense of a journey around. Um, I like the feeling of the, of the deep hole and the color changing, but I don't like the shape. The, hmm. this so one. like, can you talk more about that? Um, like that, a shape, what do you mean like a the, the Like with the clouds, the, you know, that it being kind of chubbier and sweeter and and gentle and more sentimental. It's got, it, like it feels done. If you're in a hole, uh -huh. there's only really one way to go. Right. And an idea of there being lots of choices and we see people make uh more choices so the idea of it would be a journey to get around rather than just walking in a circle it, it doesn't feel like a circular play to me so it's like more of a path like this which one like yes crack? Well, more so go back to the to the board more like the the winter wonderland in harpswell maine because i think you and i both pinned that sense of it's got kind of a roundness to it but it takes you somewhere uh -huh. so it's more of an s curve and it's not a circle mm -hmm. So it's not a, let's sink a hole in the ice and then sit there and watch it. It's the, let's follow this around the bend to see where it goes. I also love uh, okay. this image color palette wise. Okay. The little bit of green and then that kind of bluey, greeny, gray. And uh, so it, that gradient also feels like it connects to mm -hmm. the gradient color in the, um, the water cardstock images. Does anyone have anything else that's clicking for them? Or do you have more things that you want to talk more about, Mia? For um, the glass, the layered glass. This one? Yeah, the translucency of that just blows me away. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my God, <laughs> that is so incredibly beautiful. Yay. So all we need is the whole show of clear plexiglass shapes and a plexiglass floor. <laughs> so we're, we're good. Plexi furniture, all of that, yeah. yeah. Adrian, what's grabbing you? Um, the same thing, uh, the mountains are just absolutely gorgeous with going through that transparency and the play of the light. And I love um, really where he's focusing that, that darkness with the, the light outside. Um, the shapes too, I love the simplicity of the shapes and letting more like silhouette come through with the designs and that echoing to the, the postcards. Um, and so kind of it started me thinking too with um, each of the characters, you know, thinking about um, how can that simplicity carry over into the design work with the characters, but then each um, having something very unique that, that you kind of got me started on, Mia, where each character has something very unique that's a personality trait, um, but uh, in their, in their um, costume, but that would echo um, a lot of these textures and layers that I'm seeing in, in Jamie's work here, because again, that theme of layering, where can we carry that mm -hmm. consciously in the costumes? Does mm -hmm. that read yeah. you guys, or? Uh -huh. I love the idea of the layering. Yeah. Yeah, and really playing that a lot of fun. And, and thinking about, too, how, how we can show those layers, right, to the audience so that, you know, I mean, it's one thing to layer it, but if people can't see those layers, then it's right. less right. right. So to think about how volume and um, the texture and how, like, the prints and, um, you know, the surfaces themselves, you know, like, okay, we have some of these textures on, like, the, the puff jackets that are smooth. Um, then, uh, you know, where do we control, like, the angles? Like Mia was saying, you know, I like... The shape playing off those angles too with the the garments saying okay we have this really um harsh environment you know how do we think about those lines in in the silhouettes we give the the people too right in their garments to reflect either their fragility 
um, or also to their toughness in, in being surviving out in these, these elements. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying with Jamie's right now. What, what I'm kind of thinking about with what you're saying is the idea of, um, because I, I don't think with the turnaround from audition to show opening that we can do a lot of specialty built pieces, right. but the right. idea of with a coat, like a, a, just a regular winter coat, yeah. it, the coats that have sheen mm -hmm. to them and the light would play on them yeah. in a particular way, because so much of this garment wise, like flannel and felt and all of that, they're so flat. Yeah, absorbent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. where is their opportunity to play with, with that kind of layering? Yeah, um, exactly. So. Well, a lot of newer materials and newer puffy jackets and things are all very shiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For outdoor wear. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a Kind of exciting too, and thinking about too where those flatter materials, like when it comes to like the knits for the scarves or the hats, play in um, gentle patterns that can, you know, kind of hint at you know um, the northern roots and, and that sort of thing too. So, but I love where this is going. Okay, great. I'm gonna from this print some of the popular folks and then um, assemble a board, and then I'll send that out so that you can see sort of the culmination of the conversation visually. Cool. Um, can I get a copy I'll, of that too, Jamie? Yeah, yeah, I'll send it to everybody. And then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Anything else from anybody? I'm going to unshare. Oh, Lord. What just <laughs> happened to my hair? That was very <laughs> exciting. I forgot about what I looked like, which is the thing I like least about these kinds of meetings, but it's so exciting. <laughs> Still be actively creative in this virtual space, so. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It seems to work okay. All right, cool. All right, guys, well, that's it. Thank yeah. you so much. And yeah, we'll see you next week. All right, bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. bye.